What's up, guys? This is Webby, back again for your top five worst moments that the WWE has given us in 2017. The worst things that they have done in 2017. WWE has given us some things that we will remember for years down the road this year. And then... They have given us some things that we will be cringing on for years to come. We will be going over our top five worst moments. First off, I'd like to remind everybody to go back and watch anything they've missed on the channel this week. Raw and SmackDown live reviews, Clash of Champions review. Did Dolph Ziggler leave the WWE on SmackDown live? Monday Night Raw review, Clash of Champions review, where AJ Styles defeated Jinder Mahal. All that is on the channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications if you are not a subscriber. And thank you for being with me if you are. Like me on Facebook at 2007Webby. Everything is appreciated here on the channel. Thank you. For tuning in to this podcast. Now, top five moments that were just awful in the WWE this year. First off, breaking up Enzo and Cass. Now, there's no question that Enzo and Cass, you know, was just floating around. They weren't getting the correct push, right? They, they were having meaningless little rivalries with Jinder Mahal and Rusev, right? However, they were a very entertaining tag team. It was a very intriguing tag team. They needed a tag team championship title run. Very mis big mistake by the WWE not to give them that uh, big hole in the tag team division by breaking them up. Even with the revival coming up, it was a big hole for the tag team division. Even with Big Cass being the big star, big single star that Vince McMahon wants him to be. Look what it did to Enzo. It just pushed him to the cruiserweight division. And let's be honest, people don't care about him near as much as they did when he was with Big Cass in the Enzo and Cass tag team. So, big mistake by the WWE. Coming in at number four, the Blue Jambi prison matchup. Now, when you look back at this contest, some people at the time probably thought, wow, what a match, what a concept, right? This is extraordinary. But now, it's like, can we really see the action? Not a whole lot. The Pujambi prison was blocking most of the stuff that Jinder Mahal and Randy Orton was trying to do. I mean, it honestly was. And even though it was semi-cool to see the great Kyle Lee come, you know, we haven't seen him in, in quite some time. It was cool to see him for that one time, not on a regular basis. But it did just prove once again that Jinder Mahal could not successfully defend his WWE Championship by himself, that he always needed help. So, really bad concept and a really bad way to uh, end the rivalry between Jinder and Randy Orton. Roman Reigns defeating The Undertaker at WrestleMania comes in at number three. Now, did this lead to a very emotional moment at WrestleMania 33? Yes. Where 
thousands upon thousands of fans crying at WrestleMania 33. Yes. Standing on their feet chanting The Undertaker. Yes. But how many pats on the back does Roman Reigns need? He's defeated everybody. He's in a uh, he's in a shoe in for WrestleMania 34 to defeat Brock Lesnar. Um, he he just did not need that approval from the Undertaker. I mean, he just didn't. The only thing I can think of that would make this a good moment is the fact that if the Undertaker said, "Okay, I want to put Roman Reigns over," that's it. If he said that, okay. If not, there's no way this is a good moment in the WWE history books besides that very ending moment as the show went off the air because the match was just horrible. Baron Corbin's push, Baron Corbin's fall in the WWE 2017 comes in at number two. When you think of Baron Corbin this year, he wins the Money in the Bank contract, which was an epic mistake, because after he did, he lost when he cashed it in. He was an embarrassment when he faced John Cena. He was a nothing title holder with the United States Championship. Baron Corbin has been treated horribly by the WWE in 2017. Now, some might say, well, it was his fault with that whole mix-up with Dave Meltzer and ever all that junk that we all, that if you read the news and if you're a big internet person, you know what I'm talking about. However, if you did not think Baron Corbin was the guy WWE then you should not have been giving him all that stuff. You shouldn't. Baron Corbin deserves much better than that. And coming in at number one, the biggest mistake of them all, Jinder Mahal becoming the WWE Champion. Ugh. When you think of Jinder Mahal becoming the WWE Champion, Jinder Mahal, a guy that jobbed the Mojo Raleigh, a guy that jobbed all over on Monday Night Raw, a guy that was a part of 3MB, and then he comes over to SmackDown Live, and just because WWE wants to do business in India, presto, change He's a WWE champion for 170 days. And what happens? People lose interest in SmackDown. Attendance drops. Ratings <coughs> have to drop. The, the WWE Championship was not even showcased when they showcase what's going to happen on SmackDown on Monday Night Raw. That advertisement. It was the United States Championship. They had to take the title off of Jinder Mahal so people would want to get invested in the Survivor Series. On champion versus champion. I mean, huge mistake by WWE. Absolutely horrible. And he was a champion that could not defend the WWE championship by himself. That simple. If he was going to have a championship, he should have taken it down a notch and defended the title that was not in the main event. And that's my top five worst things that the WWE gave us in 2017. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe, 
hit the bell for all notifications, do everything that I suggested at the beginning of this podcast. Until I see you again, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.